Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth and in today's video, it is a protein treatment type of day. I really needed it. I'm going to show you some before and afters and you're going to be like, wow, you needed a good wash day. So that's what I'm going to show you guys in today's video. I'm going to focus on protein, also a good moisturizing hair mask. It is a shower scene video and let me just say, I feel like this is going to be the first and maybe the last time I do this in 2021 because I don't like filming this kind of shower scene for hair products like i don't mind showing like the lather and then showing how it rinses out but this is like this is like really further out and i hope you guys like it i like watching these type of videos but like actually filming them is really hard okay i'm talking a lot so let me go ahead and jump into those clips of my full start to finish wash day focusing on a protein treatment so let's start so this is maybe day five hair i don't even know anymore but it has been stretched out and feeling very dry the last time I did a strong protein treatment was maybe two months ago and my hair has been feeling a little bit weak so I knew it was time to add some protein in my wash day. Also I'm getting a haircut this weekend so I'm feeling very happy at the thought of that. So here's me dancing. First thing I did was rinse warm water all over my hair. To remove any buildup in my hair I am using a Derma E Scalp Relief Shampoo. Using my fingertips, I'm massaging the product in my scalp. You think this product has lather? It really does. Look at all the lather this shampoo has. For conditioner, I'm using the Curl Junkie Argan and Olive Oil Conditioner. And this is on the thinner side, but when you apply it on wet hair, this product has so much slip. So you can see that my hands are gliding through my hair with this conditioner. Next is the star of this wash day and it is the Eco Slave Matcha Boost. Now I am applying a good amount all throughout my hair and already my hair is feeling very, very soft. So I left this in my hair for about 15 minutes with a heated cap and my curls are already looking better. I like to follow up with a moisturizing hair mask, that way it can balance out my hair. This is by Ecoslate and it is the Banana Cream Deep Conditioner. Let me just say, my hair has never felt softer. This mask feels like butter to the hair. Like I am just gliding my fingers through it, the water is looking very smooth, like it is so good. So this wash it was not only strengthening to my hair, but it also brought back the moisture I was missing. Now it's time to style my hair. So now let's talk about how I styled my hair, what products that I decided to use, and it was a gel and a styling cream. So both these products right here. This is the, let me start with this, this is a curl cream. This is by Curl Organics, and this is the Hydrating Delight Styling Curl Cream. It says the frizz, soften, and define with shea butter and argan oil. I really do like this as a base. Now to follow up, I did use the Sotanicals Frozen Grip and Drip styling gel this is super strong to the point where i still have a little bit of a cast at the front of my hair i didn't break it up because i like that push back look both these products are in my hair at the moment and my hair does not feel frizzy it does not feel dry it looks really good now yesterday i did go out with my hair wet my hair was pretty damp you can see in this clips right here this very quick clip and when i did come home later that night my hair was not frizzy my curls are still intact so i really do like this combination of products right here now let me go ahead and talk a little bit more about protein i do want to show a clip of a reel that i have made maybe like a month ago talking about protein treatment so let me pop that in because it was a good reel so let me pop it in three protein treatments in my collection hair is all about balance and i have a lot of moisturizing hair masks but when i notice my hair is feeling too soft or doesn't curl the same i know it's time to use a protein treatment with protein it's going to help strengthen and repair the keratin in your hair therefore helping your hair grow longer and stronger a softer protein mask that i have is the tgin curl protein reconstructor 
Some of my stronger treatments include Eco Slay Matcha Boost and the Curl Junkie Repair Me Reconstructive Hair Treatment. But yeah, this is it. This is the final result. I just wanted to go ahead and show you guys step by step this much needed protein treatment wash day. And this protein treatment right here is strong. And it says that you're supposed to leave it in for like five minutes, but I left it on for 15 minutes. I'm not noticing any damaging effect to my hair. Always make sure when you do use a strong protein treatment to follow up with a moisturizing hair mask with no protein in it. That way it can help balance out your hair. But yeah, I'm really happy with the result of it. My curls are feeling very moisturized, feeling defined, looks healthy. I am going to get a haircut this week, so I am going to go ahead and vlog that. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys like it, give it a thumbs up because like I said with shower scenes, it was very difficult. I had a meltdown in the bathroom. It kind of turned out right. Like, I am happy with the way it came out. But, like, yo, I don't think I'm going to do... I don't think I'm going to do that again. I don't know. I don't know. But let me go ahead and... Oh, if you're watching the video to this point, you should leave me a shower emoji. I think they have, like, a water emoji. Use that down below. I'll show you guys what the emoji looks like. That way, I know you're watching the video to this point. And... You got anything for us, Anthony? Got any questions? Got anything you want me to say? Because... I don't know. What you got? probably had already answered this. Oh my this. god, you said that so loud. You probably already answered this, but how often should you protein treatment? So with a strong protein treatment, what do they say, like four to six weeks? So like maybe every month or like a month and a half if you want to use a very strong protein treatment. But if it's something kind of mild, you can use it, I think like every other wash day if you really want to maintain the balance. But this is a strong protein treatment, so I'm not using this every month. I'm using, honestly, I use a protein treatment whenever I feel like my hair needs it. My hair has been feeling kind of weak. Um, I have been using like a lot of moisturizing hair mask. So I've been neglecting the protein in my hair. So whenever your hair needs it, but they say like four to six weeks. And you're saying feeling kind of weak. So what does that mean exactly? Oh my God. I know, I feeling know. Feeling weak, like when you take a strand and like it easily breaks off, like your hair just feels very dry. It doesn't like... It doesn't curl up how it used to curl up, so that's when I knew I needed a good protein treatment because I have a lot of moisturizing products. I have that, but I needed to balance it out. Okay, so it really helps with the uh, ringlets. Yeah, with the ringlets, with like, you know, all that stuff. Science, baby. Science, baby, for real. Don't go overboard with it because there is a thing called protein overload, and I have had that before, and my hair, it looked really, really dry, even though I moisturize it so much, like, you just need to always maintain a balance. That's why I say when you use a good protein treatment, follow up with the moisturizing product as well. That way, there's a balance. Mm, I like that. I like that. So that's enough with the little Q&A. But I really hope you guys found this video helpful. Let me know your favorite protein treatment down below. How often do you use a protein treatment? Let me know that. And if you guys find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.